Hi, welcome to Short Run Pro's video series on various manufacturing topics. I'm Arthur Toll, and today I'm going to talk to you about aluminum. Aluminum is a material that uh, a lot of people are familiar with because it's in things you see every day. It's in bicycles, it's in aluminum cans, uh, so it's something that a lot of people uh, have a sense of. However, there are some misconceptions about aluminum. Uh, some people are under the impression that aluminum is, uh, is actually cheaper than stainless steel. So when they come looking for, for the cheapest material available, sometimes they'll ask us for aluminum. But uh, as we discussed in our comparison, uh, our, our video comparing various materials, uh, the aluminum is actually up there with stainless steel as some of the most expensive material that we use on a regular basis. We've got its density, comes in uh, just under 0.1 pounds per cubic inch. Uh, and its strength is uh, considerably less than steel and stainless steel at, uh, at 21,000 uh, PSI. Aluminum still is a very popular material f uh, for use in uh, lightweight applications if you need something that doesn't weigh a lot um, and, and weight is a consideration in your design. The type of material that we use here at Short Run Pro is 3003 H14. That's the uh, alloy that we use here at Short Run Pro. Um, but we get a lot of uh, requests for a different alloy, which is 6061. A lot of times they append a dash T6 on that. Um, but I'm not going to talk about tempering right now, so we'll just talk about 6061. Now, when people ask, ask me for 6061 and I ask them, why they want 6061 instead of 3003H14, um, a lot of times they can't tell me. And the reason you'd want to use uh, 6061 would be if you want to harden the material. So if you're going to have, after the part's been made, you're going to uh, use, uh, use, heat, use heat treat to, to make it uh, stronger. Um, other than that, there's not a lot of reasons to use 6061 if you're not going to be uh, treating it afterwards. The other thing to consider between these two materials is 6061 is much more difficult to form. As uh, we've discussed previously, forming is a very, uh, uh, very important process here at Short Run Pro um, where we bend the material uh, in order to, uh, to form L shapes or U shapes or what have you. Um, if you try to bend 6061, it'll actually tear much easier than, uh, than 3003. Um, so that's, that's one reason why we prefer to use 3003 in our shop, because you can do more with it uh, from a sheet metal fabrication standpoint. If you have any comments or questions, you can uh, leave your uh, comment or question in the comments section below. Or you can uh, send us an email at sales at shortrunpro.com or you can uh, just visit us on our website at www.shortrunpro.com. Thanks for uh, joining me today and uh, I'll see you next time.